How's it going YouTube? It's RJ here and welcome back to another manga haul video. It's for the month of June because July has just started. Uh, if you guys can hear the fan in the background, please just ignore it because it is hot and quite literally I will die if I don't have it on. So, uh, let's get into this. It should be a pretty decently sized haul because I overspend like always. So, the first thing I want to show off that isn't actually a manga, it is the Demon Slayer coloring book, the official one. Now, this conclu this includes artwork up to the Mugen Train arc, because uh, you'll have, towards the end, I think it's just like Enmu and uh, Rengoku. But, this is really cool. I like having art books like this. I don't know when I'll get around to coloring it, if I will get around to coloring it. But, I mean, it is pretty cool. I like it. But, let's get on to continuing series that I've already bought manga before. And we're just trying to work on completing the set. We still have Komi that I'm working on. I have volumes 12 and 19. Here's the artwork for the uh, covers. I am still very far off. I am. I have two in the beginning. Uh, four of the end and then 12 randomly but artwork is amazing on these covers I really love them they're gorgeous and the season has been fantastic so far so a plus for this but it's adorable I love this series absolutely but speaking about series that I really love I was finally able to get my volume 3 of my dress up darling uh, parental advisory, explicit content, because there's a, <laughs> there's a uh, nip nop in here. Uh, a lot of my books, you'll actually have this mature just because of nipples, but it's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm I'm not complaining. But this was the only one that I was missing. I will have the series complete now. Technically, it's completed now as it falls down and breaks everything in the back. Uh, everything's on pre-order for the next volumes that are available in English. And yeah, I'm super excited for it. I don't want to, uh, fan through it for you guys, just because, like I said, I don't need any of that on my channel. Oh. Uh, and then still going on with continuing series, we have Toilet Bound, uh, 1, 3, and 4 in a random order, because that's just what I had them in. Uh, what, I have two as well, and then the last one I think was 13. So, this is a series that I'll probably start picking up and completing. And I'm going to actually probably read this one next. This is, like, the next on my to-do list. But it's really cool. And then I also have the Hanako Kun, uh, the Funko Pop. And I have that out of box just to have it up against these guys. But as you can see, I've been picking these up at Target, and they had, like, a buy to get one 75% off or something like that, buy two, get one free. I forget what it, the, the deal was, but the 20% on top of it, plus 5% with a red card. Uh, really, really nice. So yeah, I'm super excited to get into reading this and seeing what the series is all about. We also have Seven Deadly Sins, Volume 2. I... Don't know if I'll end up continuing completing this series all together. I think I'll just probably grab artwork, like uh, cover arts that I like, and then just buy those volumes. It's not something that I'm actively working to complete, but if I keep catching volumes at Walmart like I have, and they've been like $7 a piece, I'm not going to complain. So, uh, volume two, we got Diane up here. Love her. Honestly, she's like top tier. Diane and then Merlin, those are my girls. But uh, this is also your introduction to Bond, too, in here. But gosh damn it, uh, Diane is gorgeous. I love her. So Meliodas, demon symbol, pretty cool. And then Diane just, you know, being a giant, causing a ruckus. She's amazing. I love her. Then uh, let me grab the two for this set. We also have volumes number 6 and 16 for Monster Mizume. Uh, once again, something I can't fan through because uh, PG-13 nudity. 
even though it's rated M, but I, I think one's, uh, okay, here we go. You have older teen, 16 plus, and then older teen, regular. So, they're risque, but it's a comedy. It's pretty cool. Uh, the reason why I picked up these ones in particular, 16, it was just there at the Barnes and Nobles that I went to, so I just picked it up because it was something that they had and I knew I didn't have it and it was the last one in the set, I think. And then number six, I have not been able to find on Amazon at all because uh, I go through them, see what's available. So six was never available, so I ordered six through Right Stuff and that was taking forever. It legitimately took months for me to get this in. And I think this one on top of volume three for Dress of Darling is what caused that Right Stuff order to be delayed over and over and over again. But I have them both now. Uh, once again, it's another series where I want to get into it. I just like buying and I know I don't have the time to continue reading, but I like buying stuff. Next up, we have Miss Kobayashi volumes 10 and 11. Uh, can't fan through 11, but it does. I'm going to try. It has this amazing like swimsuits. <laughs> Uh, swimsuit uh, edition and it's in full color too now they turn Kobayashi back into a guy for this episode well they turn him in turn her into a him for a bit because they can do that and then um I can't show the rest because it has a PG PG 13 plus stuff in there and then uh 10 I think I can fan through if I'm not mistaken uh, both of them are rated teen, teen 13 plus, so, uh, this one, more adult <laughs> than this one, if I'm not mistaken, but all together, it's still Kobayashi, I love the series, and I plan on finishing, completing this one soon-ish, I have a lot that I want to complete, uh, Kobayashi, Komi, and Kaguya-sama, they are on the top of my list of mangas that, I don't have completed or up to date that I want to work on making sure they are at that point. These ones are brand new. Yeah, so after, this is the last one where it was something that I bought previously. And that is Saki, the Succubus Volume 1. Uh, volume 3 and 4. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to remember. I bought 2 and 5 the first time I got this series. This one's definitely adult. This one was wrapped up in plastic. <laughs> you can't read this one to your kids. This is not a kid's story. However, the reason why I continued buying from this series is because I was so confused. Legitimately, I don't understand it. So that's why I bought it to read it all the way through because I started at volume two, fanning through it. I'm like, what is going on? What is the plot? What's happening here? And I saw it only has five volumes altogether. So this is a completed series. Now I have volumes one through five. And I still don't think it has a plot. I'm trying to figure out who the audience is for. And then maybe, it's, maybe I am the audience. Maybe it is me because I bought them all. Who knows? Um, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I'll give an in-depth uh, discussion review on Saki the Succubus Hungers tonight. But I don't think it needs that much because there's not any depth to it at all. All right. Now on to some new items, stuff that I don't have already or a series that I haven't started. Uh, Jawless Reincarnation, Mushoko sense at tensei can't ever pronounce it i was told it was jobless reincarnation to look it up through that and it's a lot easier for me to do that now this isn't the main one this is actually a spin-off series featuring roxy i have watched most uh, jobless reincarnation we'll never be able to pronounce it i love the series outside of the main character rudy freaking sucks dislike that guy however roxy is dope and i like roxy and as you can see from the black marker up here, this was a clearance item. Look at that. Um, I love art. I love colored uh, 
images inside these. It's really cool. So I bought it because it is it was on clearance, but it's not something where um, it's clearance. So let me go buy it. Oh, I know this series and it's on clearance. That's a steal for me. So I bought this for seven dollars and I'm really happy. Uh, don't know if I'll go out and complete the rest of it because I know I know it's I don't know if there's a manga form or if it's light novel. I know a lot of isekais are and they just end up being light novel which means reading, reading, and then maybe pictures. And I want to look at the pictures. I like the artwork. And that's usually why I end up buying the manga normally is because I love the art connected to it. Yes, I can read. <laughs> yes, I know how to read, but I get it specifically for the art. Next up, speaking about getting things specifically for the art, we have the Elder Sister Like One. Uh, volumes one two and three now this is another series where i got it for the art uh ida pochi she has this character and then um i ordered this alongside uh the the mom one the mom one the, <laughs> do you love your mother and her two hit multi-target attacks because she does the artwork for these and there's some amazing, gorgeous figures for uh, this main character here, Chio, and then uh, Mama Sensei or Mama Kun or whatever she's called in there. And I really like the design for Chio, and I would like to have a Chio figure. So I decided, let me pick up the uh, manga volumes for this. And these are parental warning. They will come wrapped up. Though I don't know if... I'm going to risk it here, run a, run a risk it, but there's a gorgeous poster in this one. I don't want to rip it out, but it's beautiful. So I think it's more like risque, and I know that there is a uh, doujin, 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 I'm not going to, I, I can't do full fucking words here, I suck. But um, this series is about a demon who ends up basically saying, all right, cool. Um, I, th I think she's, I think the premise is she's a demon and the boy that she comes and helps or like offers a deal, she, I think she kills him after a thousand days or something. But his wish for her is for him, her to be his big sister. And then she's like, Nani? <laughs> So maybe he summons her, but yeah, it's a uh, pretty cool. I think he summons her. Is he fighting a, another demon and then he summons her? That might be it. I don't remember. I got to read this, but I got this in recently. This came in with my right stuff order and yeah, the artwork is just beautiful. So I will definitely be happy getting through that. I don't know if there's more volumes. I think there might be a fourth one, but we shall see now. Uh, next up, we have this, which is the latest item to come in, so I haven't even looked through this. <laughs> Please put them on, Takamin-san. I saw this on, um, uh, Reddit. I think that's where I ended up seeing this at first. Uh, I got a scratch in mine, but whatever. I don't particularly care too much. Or maybe I saw it on Amazon when it offered me, because my selections are extremely... Uh, tasteful tasteful on amazon when i'm buying stuff so either way i was curious because i i legitimately think i saw this on reddit and i was curious so i just bought whichever was the first volume that was available and which was two so yeah i saw one I was curious bought two uh let's read the background uh shiroda settling into his new role as student council president hakameen san's closet but when her underwear supply runs out, he'll have to take on another task, helping her restock. Still, Sharota's a little embarrassed, and a trip to the lingerie store isn't improving matters. Picking out panties is one thing, but when Takamine drags him out, drags him into a dressing room to try them on, it might be more than he can handle. Uh, it's rated M, mature. Uh, it's probably just another... It's just silly. I think it's just silly girl has boobies and 
guy get it's edgy it's edgy and i think it i think this one could probably be a little bit more funny and actually have like a bit of a plot to it so i'm curious to actually continue reading this series and go through it but i want to get one to read one two and i also want to get three because i like having all three like three volumes to read through in one go next up this one i know for sure i picked up because amazon <laughs> all right um here we go here i am degenerate as hell to save the world can you wake up the morning after with a demi-human I got it because of the cover. I think that is hot as hell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's it. That's all. I can't flip through this whatsoever. But I'm like, yo, that's pretty hot. Not gonna lie. I don't have anything else to say. I don't know if I'm even picking up any of the other volumes because that is the one that stuck out to me. Volume 3 with that cover that cover it said let me buy it and there's some type of like tentacle monster in there and i don't know if i'm going to continue but we'll see oh as i knock down my camera setup that's okay though because this video is already scuffed <laughs> next up continuing on i think this is the last uh super an SFW series that I got, and then I have uh, two more different series to show off. We got Booty Royale. Never go down without a fight. Okay, uh, explanation for this one in particular. I saw this when I was taking a vacation. I told my friend to buy it for me. He said, oh, hell no. And then Amazon had it on sale. And then I bought it. Once again, can't flip through this one. This is, I think, covering volumes one through two. I say I think, even though I see it right there, because this is like an omnibus kind of thing where it's really thick. So can't flip through this one. I already went through it. Uh, <laughs> there's like two more sets that I know of, like three and four and four and five, uh, three and four and five and six probably might pick those ones up we'll see uh essentially though we'll read we'll read the back we'll get the synopsis for you we'll cover that up 18 year old karate expert uh masora moves to tokyo to pursue her dream of becoming a famous singer unfortunately her sleazy handlers trigger into the adult entertainment industry and said her only way out is to survive a martial arts tournament where she must fight her way through 100 lustful male opponents if she loses she will pay the ultimate erotic price ha that's what that is. I mean, like, isn't she cute, though? She's, like, really cute. I like it. I'm happy with it. But let's get on to the two that I'm the most excited to actually talk about. And that is... Number one. I have the Quintessential Quintuplets box set. This covers volumes one through seven. Box set number two will be releasing sometime this year. And that has volumes eight through fourteen. I binged through this show in the matter of, like, a day and a half. <laughs> I am in love with this series. And I am so, so excited for the movie to actually have an English release. I do have an issue, though. And that issue comes in the form of, I already know who the, uh, the winner is going to be. The winning sister. And this was known to me well before I was like, all right, cool. Let me go pick up this set. Let me go read into it. Because I knew that this box set existed. I was just waiting for it to come for a good price. And I got this for 60 but now I see it on Amazon for like 43 So I could have saved a lot more money. But that's okay. I'm not, I'm not stressing that. The only thing I am stressing, though, is uh, I know how it ends. And I'm so upset because my girl isn't winning. And yeah, I'm taking it like that. Now, at first, I'm like, what is going on with this artwork, the uh, box set? Because you go from here to here to here. And my girl is, like, nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen. So we, we already know who my girl is then, right? Because you got, you got almost all of them shown somewhere. 
And I'm like, where, where's the rest of it? And then I look at the top, I'm like, what the heck? And then I realize, oh yeah, there's a second box set coming out and the artwork is probably gonna just match all the way through. So you can display it on your shelf like this or like this, but this one doesn't make too much sense because box one will be on the right of box two. And then I don't know how this one's going to look, uh, if it's going to go to the right or the left. I know the images are out there. I just don't care enough to look because I'm probably going to just have it displayed like this so you can actually read through it. I legitimately love this series. <laughs> and it has done ungodly things to me. Uh, as in, I don't think I've been this genuinely upset or passionate about a series in a very long time so uh i've already i'm going to show you guys this i'm going to move the camera over i've had uh these artworks for a while actually uh, except for the posters the posters came with the uh the big posters of miku and uh itsuki they came in a while ago no the other stuff that isn't those two giant posters they came in a while ago because I already knew that I was going to like Miku the most because she looks fantastic out of all of them and she seems to have that shy personality and they all have their personality types and Miku fits right alongside what I enjoy and <laughs> I have all these posters and now I have a reason to have these hung up and have an actual connection to these characters because I really do feel connected to these characters and it's really bad to the point that, I mean, if you guys know me, I have a very, very addictive personality where it's just like, okay, cool, it's a series that I like, let me grab something from it. You guys know me, I'm a collector. So, for example, with, like, My Hero Academia, I have a toga face mask, the, uh, one that she wears during the, where they invade during the second time that the League attacks during the uh, camp arc. I forget exactly what the name of the arc was. For Nezuko from Demon Slayer, because Nezuko's best girl, I have her bamboo. For quintessential quintuplets, and I'm definitely derailing, uh, I haven't even shown off the artworks for this set yet, but for quints, I ended up buying off of Amazon Miku's headset. And this actually does work, which is cool but I'm probably not gonna use it too much because I don't want it to break. But let's actually get into the art, the uh, box set itself. The box set came with those two posters and they're actually reversible. So uh, the Miku one has uh, Miku and Nino on it. And then the uh, Itsuki one has Ichika on the back. So it's all set. Here we have the art, <laughs> the artwork for uh, first cover. Okay. Ichika on cover two. Cover three is Nino. Cover four, Miku, best girl, obviously. Cover five, Yotsuba. Number six, we have uh, Ich uh, Itsuki, and then number seven, wedding versions uh, start in this one. So wedding version Ichika. I would love to dive into this set once I finish reading through box two, because I've read through box one. But I want to like this is one of those series where uh, alongside of the other one. And I'm rambling, and we've been talking for 24 minutes now. Alongside of Your Lie in April, this is one where I want to do a review on because I'm waiting for the, the series to finalize with the movie. We're waiting for box set two to come in to read through that entirely, even though I know what happens, and then do a full on review with it. But the last items, <laughs> and this is why I went on the long tangent, because these are the last ones. The last mangas are. <sighs> Y'all might think this is weird, but we got Future Diary Volume 1 and Volume 2. I will 
put this on the list as well, alongside of uh, Kaguya-sama, Komi, Can't Communicate, and uh, Kobayashi. This is a set where I have to get this completed. This will also probably come as a review as well, because I actually own the DVD box set for the series. The reason why I'm as big of an anime nerd as I am right now is specifically because of this series. Now, I watched original Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z growing up, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, a lot of Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon. So it's not like I was a stranger to anime. My dad had the box set for Dragon Ball, and I loved it. When I was in middle school, I think around fifth grade, that's when I dove into actually reading manga. So the first anime that really got me hooked into being like an anime nerd was like Bleach. I'll say, I think Bleach, I started it, I'm like, yo, this is really cool. But like the first series where I actually picked up the manga and watched the entire full series for was Future Diary. And my girl, you know, she is the Yandere Queen, and maybe that has affected, like, what I look for in a woman. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's just move that conversation for later, because we don't need to know. We don't need to know what type of psychological issues I've got. But this series is weird. <laughs> and I, like, I really want to do a breakdown on this, too, because... It, I know it falls off and it gets really, really weird after a certain point. But I still love this series to death. Truthfully, I love this series. And I'll tell you another little side tangent before we end this video. Uh, one of the cool things is, so Himiko Toko's voice actress is Leah Clark. Uh, she voices her she also voices Kobayashi from Dragon Maid the cool thing is uh when I first got a couple of my prints in from her because this was Christmas COVID time they weren't doing uh live autographing so she did a live stream to do autographs and she had like a mystery bag mystery box kind of thing where you spent $25 you got a random item in it and then she sent a couple of extras because I kind of splurged I bought quite a few mystery boxes because it First of all, it's a good deal. Second of all, trying to get anything Toga related for my collection was nice. And I legitimately appreciate her work in the industry. One thing I didn't know <laughs> was that she voices Murmur or Marumuru. I forget how it's, it's basically spelled M-U-R-U-R-U. -U -U. I think it might be Maru Maru. I think it might, but it's like I said, it's been a long time since I've actually sat down and watched the series all together. But it was so cool to actually get the print. I'm like, I know who this is. Holy sh- Leah voices her. The voice of Himiko voices the uh, side character to God. <laughs> Crazy. So I don't want to get into too much about this, but for anybody who doesn't know what the series is, um, Yuki Teru, which is the male guy back there. He's actually the main character, but he kind of sucks, if I remember correctly. I didn't care for him too much. They, him and I think it's like, God, is it 11 people all together? Anyway, they uh, are, the god of the world is dying. So he gives a certain amount of people a battle royale, essentially, to fight to the death. But they have whatever they used before. So he uses his phone to basically create a diary for himself. Uh, they can now see into the future through that by reading. What he'll do is he'll type in, this is what I did today. So he can look through future entries to see, okay, cool. This is what's going to happen. This is when I die. Because the point of this is they all have to kill each other to become God. <laughs> and I think that's pretty cool. It's an insane concept. And then you have badasses like you know and then uh what's your face what's her face i'm going to be upset if i don't remember this here we go can we look into it i don't know i can't remember her name off the top of my head but i know she's a complete and utter badass and 
I think she ends up becoming my favorite character outside of Yuno, because Yuno, I was like main character syndrome. I think when rewatching it, she's definitely going to be my favorite character, but she's an escape artist and she's a terrorist. <laughs> it's, it's a strange series, but still, when I was able to just like, let me go and relive my childhood, this is what I picked up. So yeah, um, that's it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know it was long and I went on tangents, but this is what I like to do. Um, I'll see you guys next month for the next haul. I'm hoping to not have it as big as this one because it is a lot of money, but still, this is something I quite literally enjoy. So I'll see you then. Bye.